What's going on, Auto Lust Gang? This your boy Auto Lust. And before we get started, I would like to personally thank every last one of you who subscribed, liked, or even viewed the content, you know, because what you do is just as equally important as me making the content. And I would like to personally thank everybody who's been to the Auto Lust family, viewed it, joined it, you know, that's a personal shout out, you know. Thank you guys very much. <music> One of the biggest questions I get asked all the time, every time I bring it up or not even bring it up is, what will a lower degree thermostat do for me? How would it work? Isn't it computer controlled? Doesn't the car tell you what temperature to drop it to? What would cooler water temperatures do for me? You know, everything. And I mean everything. You know, that 90 degree thermostat from Hamburg Tech, and they also have an 85 degree thermostat from, I think, n54tuning.com. I'm not sure, but those thermostats are everything, night and day difference. And I'm living proof. You know, my 650 was living proof of how constant and consistent the power is when the engine isn't retarding timing and pulling timing. And I'm gonna let you guys know something, you know, when your engine reaches a certain temperature, I don't care how much horsepower you got, you can have a, a million wheel horsepower. You're not gonna get that horsepower out of that car at all, period. Because once that those sensors reach a certain temperature and it knocks on the computer's door, the ECU's door and say, hey, it's too hot out here, the computer's gonna pull timing. Meaning it's going to dumb the power down, dumb the torque down to stop knock and detonation, which is horrible for your engine, you know, and that's just the first part. The second part is when you uh, change the thermostat, everything's, everything runs a lot cooler and less pressure, you know. So, I mean, everybody makes jokes about the BMW being known for leaks, it leaks, it leaks, it leaks. What if you can cut that leak time in half, you know, it, it, it extend that uh, engine life by one and two, you know, like less pressure, less heat inside the engine. It, it, it just helps everything out. You know, the seals last longer because they're not being baked to death. The plastic parts up under the engine, like, I mean, everybody knows the entire top end, not the block, but the entire top end with the accessories on a BMW is plastic, you know? So if you can save that stuff, save those seals, save those oil seals, uh, you know, valve seals or whatever else type of seals if you can save those things by running a lower temperature why not do it i mean that's a no-brainer that alone damn the horsepower that alone should be enough to want to swap that thermostat and guys i'm going to put the link for both of those thermostats down in the link uh down in the description for this video like i said i know about the 90 degree hamburg tech but i'm not familiar with the 85 degree because I know you want your engine to reach a certain temperature for it to perform correctly. But I'm sure they wouldn't be selling it if it didn't work. But I don't know. You know, but... And that's just number two. That's two things, guys. Number three. On most BMWs, 90% of them, in my personal opinion, from what I've known, you know, everybody say I'm a BMW guru, but I don't claim to be. You know, I just know what I know. The turbos on your car shares the same cooling system as the engine. Your intercoolers has its own complete separate cooling system. That's what the auxiliary pump is for. Was two for the V8s. I think it's two auxiliary pumps because the uh, the engine has a, a belt driven pump and it, then it has a uh, extra auxiliary pump for the cooling system. But your intercoolers, your charge coolers, has its own cooling system, its own reservoir, its own water. The water that mixes through your uh, air to water intercooler will, will never see the engine ever, but your turbos will. So why not keep the temperatures low as possible when your turbos are seeing the same exact uh, engine temp, water temp, that's coming out of the engine? I mean, cooler turbos, I mean, that's a no-brainer. Who doesn't want cooler turbos on a turbo car? 
especially turbos that are sitting in the B of the engine, in the baking zone, you know? And that's number three. And number four, for that 90, de that 90 degree thermostat guide, is less oil consumption. When the engine runs cooler, it's gonna be less oil consumption, guys. I mean, a lot less oil consumption. And everybody knows with the N63 TU, N63, S63 TU, S63, those engines drink oil. I mean, drink it. Every 2,000 miles, some some people are adding a quart. Uh, uh, well, not 2,000 miles. Uh, I've heard, I've heard bad cases. I've heard 2,000 miles, but every so odd amount of miles, guys are adding one to two quarts of oil. You know, two things you can do: add a thicker oil and get the thermostat, and you won't have them problems again. After I added that thermostat to my N63, the 650 horsepower 650, I'm gonna put the link down in the description for that uh, that car as, well, as well. So if you've never seen how powerful an N63 can be, you can see it down there. Well, N63 TU, I'm gonna have the link down there. But I've never had that problem again, ever. When I switched to the Hamburg Tech 90 degree, I mean, it's like a God saying for BMWs, guys. Don't let anybody tell you it won't help you, especially in warmer states, Texas, Florida. I'm in Florida, you know, so if you're in Arizona, Florida, Texas, something that's hot down on the bottom near the equator, guys, get yourself that thermostat. Do yourself a favor, you know, and that's going to be the first thing I will first jewel I want to drop on you guys. And hold on, let me get the second. The second one is going to be the dual clutch, the dual clutch transmission everybody thinks are in the X5M, X6M. I'm here to tell you guys, there's no dual clutch in the SUVs. If it was a dual clutch, there's no way it would be able to be all wheel drive. You know, it's a lot of guys online saying, oh, well, I want this for the dual clutch, or this is doing this with the dual clutch, or why would they put a dual clutch in the SUV so big and it doesn't have the seven speed dual clutch, guys. The X5M, F85, the X6M, F86 has the ZF, I think, uh, HP 75, 75 HP, same engine in the Hellcat, same engine in some of the Aston Martins, uh, or whatnot, you know, it has the eight speed. I don't know why BMW chose to tune the transmission to behave like a dual clutch, but it's one of their M cars. You know, if you buy M, you want everything that the other M cars come with, but it's definitely not a dual clutch, guys. The X6M and the X5M comes with the eight speed automatic ZF, which in my personal opinion, is a hell of a lot more stronger, more durable, better cooling, and it has way more tuning capabilities for that transmission. It's a bunch of tuners out there that, that can tune that ZF transmission, guys. So that's a good transmission to have. Me personally, I don't like the dual clutch that much. I like the downshifts on the dual clutch and the way it makes the vehicle sound. I'm gonna put a couple of sound clips so you guys can hear that right here. definitely don't like the dual clutch. The clutch is slipped after a certain amount of horsepower and I'd rather have a four-wheel drive, guys. Four-wheel game. And that's the second jewel I'm gonna drop on you guys. Get ready for the third one. This third and last jewel I'm gonna drop on you guys is thicker oil. And that, that goes hand in hand with the 90 degree thermostat. Thicker oil for any tuned car is the way to go, period. Do not put the factory recommended oil uh, thickness, whatever, 5W30, 5W20, whatever, 0W20. Do not put that crap in an 800 horsepower BMW. You're just asking for problems. You know, you don't have that type of horsepower. You don't have that type of torque anymore. So obviously that, that oil thickness won't work for that engine. Get a thicker oil, you know. And from what I've been told by a lot of tuners and uh, tuner shop owners is that once that oil heats up, say you run a 5W30, once that oil heats up, 
I get, the 30 is supposed to be the hot temperature thickness. But I guess from research, they say once that oil heats up, that 30 drops to a 20. And if you run a 5W40, that 40 is gonna drop to a 30 or somewhere around there, you know? So the, 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 the least I run in my car's tune is a 5W40. At least I'm getting a true 5W30 out of it then. You know, I might start running a 5W50. I live here in uh, Florida. You know, there's no reason for me to uh, to need any zero W anything. I don't live in a cold, cold area or anything, you know. So I'm gonna think, I'm thinking about running a 5W50 Amsoil. You know, I'm, I'm looking into it. You know, Amsoil is a great oil. I'm gonna leave the link down for Am, Amsoil down there in the description so you guys can check their oils out. Yeah, but those, I just wanted to drop some jewels on you guys and get some misconceptions out there on the table, especially about that 90 degree thermostat because there's a lot of you guys that want big, boomy power and are scared to get it because you don't know about the thermostat, guys. That thermostat is literally a godsend in the M community. You know, because BMW runs their engines hot from the factory for emissions laws and uh, MPG you know, and EPA uh, regulations and stuff like that. That they, they run them hot so they can meet those regulations. But once you got the cars, guys, if, if, I mean, if you're if you're still under warranty, you know, I don't know what warranty is going to do about that, but I own both of my cars, or all of my cars, and, and they're out of warranty anyways. I am the warranty. So, you know, I'm just going to get, I'm just giving you guys my perspective. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this informative video. I really hope you guys learned something from it, man. And please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I got a bunch of more power videos coming up. We're going to be headed over to the track soon. And uh, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, guys. I got a lot more stuff coming up. So thank you guys very much. Like, share, and subscribe. And I don't lust out.